In this example, we will compare the deconstruct method and the traditional method for solving a linear equation in one variable. However, it's important to recognize as we use either method, we are always performing the same operation to both sides of the equation, which creates an equivalent equation. Let's first solve the equation using the deconstruct method, also referred to as the story of the variable method. For this method, the first step is to construct the story of the variable that creates the equation, and then step two, deconstruct the story of the variable, and then three, apply the deconstruct story to both sides of the equation to solve the equation. And step four, check the solution. However, this method does have issues when we have equations in the form shown here, where if the variable term is not first, we would need to rewrite the equation so the variable term is first as an equivalent equation. There's also issues when there are variable terms on both sides of the equation. Once again, we would have to rewrite the equation as an equivalent equation where the variable term is the first term on the left side or right side of the equation. For this reason, it might be helpful at this point to transition to the more traditional method of solving linear equations. For this method, there is an option to multiply both sides of the equation to clear any fractions or decimals, but in general, the first step is to simplify each side of the equation by clearing parentheses and combining like terms. Then step two, add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side. Then step three, multiply or divide both sides of the equation to isolate the variable and solve the equation. And then again, step four, check the solution. Let's first solve the equation using the deconstruct method. We begin by determining the construction story. So beginning with the variable m, we first multiply by three to get three m. Step two, we subtract one to get this difference. Step three is to multiply by four to get this product. And then step four is to add seven to get this sum. And then the result is negative 13. For the deconstruct story, we need to undo the steps of the construction story in order to solve the equation for m. For the deconstruct story, we first undo adding seven by subtracting seven. Then we undo multiplying by four by dividing by four. Then we undo this subtraction of one by adding one. And finally, we undo this multiplication involving three by dividing both sides by three. So applying the deconstruct story, the first step is subtract seven on both sides of the equation. Simplifying both sides of the equation, seven minus seven is zero. We now have the equivalent equation four times the quantity three m minus one equals negative 13 minus seven is negative 20. The next step is to divide both sides of the equation by four. Simplifying, four divided by four simplifies to one. We now have the equivalent equation three m minus one equals negative 20 divided by four is negative five. To undo the subtraction, we add one to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative one plus one is zero. We now have the equation three m equals negative five plus one is negative four. And the last step is to undo multiplying by three by dividing both sides by three. Simplifying, three divided by three is one. One times m is m. Our solution is m equals negative four thirds. Now let's solve the equation again using a more traditional method. Step one is to simplify both sides of the equation, which means for this equation, we begin by distributing the four to clear the parentheses and then we combine like terms. So four times three m is 12 m minus four times one. So we have minus four plus seven equals negative 13. We can still simplify the left side by combining the like terms or the constant terms. Negative four plus seven is positive three. The equation simplifies to 12 m plus three equals negative 13. The next step is to isolate the variable term by adding or subtracting, we need to undo the plus three by subtracting three on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, three minus three is zero. The equation simplifies to 12m equals 
negative 13 minus 3 is negative 16. The last step is to multiply or divide to solve for m. 12m means 12 times m. The last step is to divide both sides by 12. Simplifying, 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1. 1 times m is m. We have m equals negative 16 twelfths, but this fraction does simplify. The greatest common factor between 16 and 12 is 4. So to simplify, we divide the numerator denominator by 4, which does give us m equals negative 4 thirds. So we do get the same solution. Again, the important thing to remember here is that for both methods, we did perform the same operation to both sides of the equation, each time getting an equivalent equation. Now to verify this solution is correct, we need to substitute negative 4 thirds for m into the equation to make sure it satisfies the equation. For this example, let's use the calculator. We will evaluate the left side of the equation to make sure it's equal to negative 13. So we enter 4, open parenthesis, 3, and then times negative 4 thirds so open parenthesis, negative 4 divided by 3, close parenthesis, and then we have minus 1, close parenthesis, plus 7, and enter. And notice how the left side of the equation is equal to negative 13 when m is equal to negative 4 thirds, verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.